it's the gear tester here and in this video I'm going to show you how I carved a canoe paddle, an emergency canoe paddle, from a piece of cedar driftwood. I did this on a, a vacation trip I recently took with some friends off the coast of Washington in the San Juan Islands. And in this video you're going to see me make this paddle right here. And I am using the Grand Force Brooks mini hatchet there for all the chopping exclusively and then I used my Benchmade Griptilian to do some of the fine work, some of the carving around the edges and things, just some touch up work that I didn't want to do with the a mini hatchet from Grand Force Brooks. What I did is I started out with a nice plank of driftwood like you see here and you'll see me carving it and splitting it. It's amazing once you get a split going in a piece of cedar you can use little wedges and that's what you'll see me first doing is make manufacturing some wedges to drive in and then pry that apart and it splits very nicely right down the piece of driftwood. It's a season branch, unbelievable. This is a cedar log, and I'm going to attempt to split it <laughs> along here in order to make a canoe paddle. So I've just got the Grand Force Brook Small Forest Axe, and I may choose to also employ the, I'm sorry, I've got the Grand Force Brooks Mini Hatchet, and I may choose to employ the Grand Force Brook Small Forest Axe later on in this project, but we'll see here. Would you like to watch the rest of this project? I put a link below this video in the description of the video that will take you to part two of the Carving a Small Cedar Canoe Paddle project. If you click on that link, it'll take you right to it and you can continue watching as I finish this small cedar canoe paddle.